Welcome back everybody, let's land the rooftop. With the flat part of your foot, you're gonna step out in a very casual way at an angle, kind of like at a 10 o'clock or two o'clock position on the analog clock, kind of like a diagonal. Just like that flat foot, definitely not on your heel, definitely not on your toe. Just stepping out casual on the one. Okay, one, just like that, one. At the same time on the one, you're gonna use the opposite arm and have it in such a way as though you are holding onto a bar on a bus or a bar on the underground. Just like this, opposite arm to leg on the one. And my hand is in a fist. Okay, one, one, one. And the next, we're going to slide that leg that went out backwards towards ourselves on the two. We step out on the one, slide back on the two. As we slide back, our weight actually shifts and our knee pops out so the right leg comes in and the left knee pops out because the weight shifts the right leg comes in and then the left knee pops out left leg comes in notice now the right leg pops out so when we slide our leg back we engage our hips so again you slide the right leg back and you engage the right hip and vice versa let's try together six seven eight one slide back two nice and slowly three slide back four one slide back two three slide back four let's go a little bit faster now one two one two one two one two one two just like that You're nearly there i wouldn't recommend by the way changing your arms all the time it's a bit messy to me i personally like to change the arm only when i change the leg so i keep that left arm up until i change the leg you see that that makes the most sense and that's how most people tend to do it i think it looks the most neat you can also go to the sides as well there are many variations you can do now rock your head backwards this is why i said we're not finished yet because if we're not grooving we're not really giving that hip-hop feel so let's just rock our head backwards you can rock your body if, it, if you feel to as well it's a slight rock as you're doing the move okay hip-hop equals rock bounce and floor here we go bam bam and it's more casual and it's more happy it's more chilled okay now i'm going to show you a nice variation after you slide your leg back on that one and then after the two you're going to step across with that bent leg on three and bring the other leg around on four so one slide back two step across three come around four. One, two, three, four. okay let me show you how to go faster double time when you go faster, start on the and count. So now it becomes and one and two, and one and two. When I'm going faster, I also prefer to not have my hand in that holding position. I find it more free and it enables me to match the energy of the intensity of the speed. You can also go around in a circle. Notice I'm rocking my head backwards, far more casual. Again, it's that groove and it's fun going around in circles. You can fold your arms. There's another way to do this, another variation. Open your arms out, like what, what, what? Who wants some? Let's go. You can come lower. This is tricky coming, um, doing this move lower, I must say. You can roll your body backwards. I'm just playing around now, do some isolations, showing off a little bit. Hey, it's a part of hip hop, right? There you go, confidence. Yeah, waving. Thank you guys. You've just learned the tutorial in under five minutes.